The federal government announced legal action today against one of the nation's largest ticket sellers, the Justice Department and 30 state and district attorneys. They are now suing Live Nation, the parent company of Ticketmaster. ABC's Rena Roy explains what led to this lawsuit. After a two-year investigation into Live Nation, the Department of Justice announcing an antitrust lawsuit against the company. Earlier today, the Department of Justice, joined by 29 states and the District of Columbia, sued Live Nation Entertainment and its wholly owned subsidiary Ticketmaster for violating the Sherman Antitrust Act. The lawsuit accuses the company, which owns Ticketmaster, of creating a monopoly over the concert ticket market through its exclusive contracts with venues. Currently, Ticketmaster controls more than 70% of the market. Our complaint makes clear what happens when a monopolist dedicates its resources to entrenching its monopoly power and insulating itself from competition rather than investing in better products and services. The legal action comes after the Taylor Swift Eras Tour ticket meltdown in 2022. Ticketmaster's site crashing due to high demand. Tickets are so overpriced that the average person isn't going to be able to go anymore. Customers accusing Ticketmaster and Live Nation of hidden fees and allowing speculative sales. Lawmakers in Washington grilled Live Nation's president. This is all a definition of monopoly. If you care about the consumer, cap the price. The company blaming scalpers and bots for issues, but have said they support ticketing reforms to allow artists to cap resale markups and crack down on bots. Live Nation also recently touted its new all-in pricing policy, allowing customers to see the total price, including fees. Live Nation released a statement responding to the lawsuit, saying in part it is absurd to claim that Live Nation and Ticketmaster are wielding monopoly power, continuing to say service charges on Ticketmaster are no higher than elsewhere and frequently lower. In New York, Rena Roy for Channel 6 Action News.